Hey everybody, my name is Spencer and welcome to another review from the Lighten Up Initiative. I'm going to talk about today, Coenzilla, this little game from Fox Mind Games, a game about stacking ice cream, making your own ice cream cone. I'm going to go over how to play it real quick and then I've got some special guests to help me uh, kind of explain what we think about the game. So first of all, inside the box you got your rules and um, you've got your ice cream cones. You can play, this is a two to four player game. And there are three different ice cream cones you can play as, or start with. Chocolate, strawberry, mint chocolate chip, and looks like chocolate chip cookie dough. Now you notice they all have a number one on them. And that's where you're going to start. The idea is you want to stack pieces of ice cream like this on top of your cone. When the game starts, there'll be all kinds of these ice cream pieces, many different types. Um, I can't even name them all because uh, I'm just not that informed on ice cream. Um, but they've got numbers on them and they'll be flipped over. And I'm not gonna put them all out there, but you get the idea. Now, on your turn, you pick one of the ice cream pieces. So let's say I pick this. And then you look, and let's say I'm playing as the chocolate ice cream cone. And then you look and you see if the number is greater than what's below it. So technically, I could put this on top of my one. However, the numbers only go up to 49. So you don't want to go ahead and put your high numbers here because you're not leaving enough room for your ice cream pieces. Here's the catch. You need 10 ice cream pieces to win the game. Now that includes the one on the cone, but you've got to leave yourself enough room to get up to 10 um, in order to win. The first person to get to 10 scoops wins the game. So if you start with a 30, um, you don't have much more room left. Like, okay, I just drew a 29. Um, I'm not going to be able to put it there because it has to be higher than the one below it. So you want to start with something smaller like a 10 or a 8 or what, the lower the better um, to give you enough room as you grow taller. If you draw a number, so let's say um, I did have this, if you draw a number and you can't place it, you turn it back over and then everyone else is going to try to remember where that is so that when it does come time to put a piece of that number onto their ice cream cone, then they can grab it whenever it makes sense. That's pretty much it. First to 10, 10 scoops on their ice cream cone win, so it's kind of a race element there too. All right, so now that you know how to play, let's go over to Emma and Jane for their thoughts. Girls, what's your favorite ice cream? Um, mine is mint chocolate chip. Mine is chocolate and mint chocolate chip and strawberry. I'm Jane. And I'm Emma, and we're gonna talk about Conezilla. Conezilla is about stacking ice cream on your ice cream cone. It has to be a higher number than one. And it's for you to get 10 scoops. You have to get 10 scoops to win. It's very fun. Um, you get to choose some ice cream from the middle of the table and put it on top of your ice cream. And it's like, it would be so yummy if it was really live. Mmm. It's because the ice cream makes me hungry and I want to eat the ice cream. When I play the game, I feel hungry because the ice cream looks so yummy. Um, the game isn't that easy it's, or hard, it's just medium. That's what I think. Emma, why do you want to play Conezilla? Because it's just so fun and... Stacking ice cream all the way to 10 scoops. It's you know, a yummy game for the brain. <laughs> but go ahead and sit back down. I think people should buy Conezilla because it's very fun. Lava Lava Cookie. Um, it's very fun. It's because you get to stack up so, so many ice cream and that's 10 scoops and it just wants me to make up. And it just wants me to eat ice cream. All right, well, hopefully you understood uh, most of what they said. Um, but I pretty much agree with, with everything that, that Emma and Jane said. Um, it's a simple game, I, you know, conceptually. Um, it's pretty easy to understand. Jane is four. Emma is seven. So Jane, you know, she has trouble knowing the, you know, what numbers are higher. She doesn't know that yet. But... If you tell her what's, which number is higher than the other, she gets the idea of whether or not she should put it down or wait for a lower number. Um, again, the box says six and up. Um, I think that's about right. As long as, as, long as your kid knows um, what numbers are you know, higher than others, you'll have no problem with this game. Um, it also has that memory element to it. Um, trying to remember where the certain numbers are. I'm not, a, I'm not big on memory match games. Um, but it works here. 
Um, I, there's a lot more information whenever it comes to memorizing than simply, you know, backs of cards. So I know that this chocolate chip cookie dough piece over on this side of the board or on the table is going to be a 29. So that's a memory style game that I appreciate. Another thing they said is <laughs> makes them hungry for ice cream. And I totally agree with that. I'd say that's if what, however you look at it, that's either a good thing or a bad thing. Um, man, I just want some ice cream every time I play this game. And it's really neat being able to stack your ice cream cone and see what you end up with um, and see if that's something you'd actually eat. Like there's some with, with nuts or whatever. I'm not big on nuts in ice cream, but you know, if it wins me the game, then great. Uh, the last thing is that race element. It's the first to, to 10 scoops and um, you have to weigh that decision of, do I go ahead and go with, do I go ahead and go with a higher number um, with the hopes of getting the numbers that I need later on so that I can go through the, the ice cream cone stacking faster than my opponents, or should I take it easy and go with lower numbers, you know, maybe wait a couple turns before I get the number that I need um, so that I give myself plenty of distance or room for adding ice cream cone scoops on top. It might take a couple plays for kids to get into that mindset, a little bit of, you know, making those decisions of, do I place this higher number now or wait? Um, I have found that Emma in one game, she placed a number that was too high. And so um, she had lots of trouble finding the right scoops to get her up to a, a 10 scoops, but she did it. I think she started at like a 30 and then one, one time within three or four consecutive turns, she found several in the 40s. So it can happen, um, but learning to teach or when the kids learn that, that weighing of decisions, um, it's really neat to, to see that happen. How about how long it takes? Well, the box says 10 minutes. I'd agree with that. Um, just as quick as you can stack your ice cream cone and then, then the game's over. Um, mostly I found that our games were about 10 minutes. Not, not less than that, um, 10, 15, maybe max 20, uh, just depending on how easy it is for everybody to find the, the ice cream cone pieces or the, the scoops of ice cream that you need. Um, but overall, not a long game. It's a great little filler game that you can play, whether if, if you're having a game day with your family, you can throw that in there between games. Or if you only got time for one game, you can just break this out and play it. Have fun, um, but not have to spend too much time playing a game. I don't really have anything negative to say about the game, and it is what it is. Um, there's nothing bad about it. Um, it's, it's simple. But, um, you know, nothing wrong, nothing broken, everything works here. So overall, from the Williams family, I would say that we all recommend Conezilla. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like up here on YouTube. If you didn't like it, well, stay away. I don't want your dislikes. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the Lighten Up Initiative, go ahead and do that too. I ask you to do that so that you can be alerted. Uh, to new videos that come out, make sure you click the bell icon after you subscribe to get those alerts for all kinds of reviews, playthroughs, tutorials, uh, whatever it is. I do all kinds of types of videos, so make sure that you're subscribed and alerted. Until next time, I'm Spencer Williams reminding you to not take the board game hobby too seriously, like throwing a fit when you drop your ice cream cone on the floor. Just lighten up. <laughs>